I know a lot of teachers. I don't know any who want guns. I know a lot who just want like markers and shit, you know? <laughs> get a school issued Glock <laughs> while well, I'm still buying my own post-its. <laughs> I'm taking that gun. I'm holding up a Staples. <laughs> it's insane that we live in a reality where teachers have to buy their own everything. Anything you want for your classroom, pencils, paper, books, uh, markers, post-its, anything you need. Oh, the district can't afford that. The state can't afford that. The government can't afford that. Um, but we're talking about giving teachers school-issued guns in case of active shooters. That's how far gun nonsense has come in this country. And yes, I know I have glasses on today, and yes, there will be glare because I have not figured out the best way to wear glasses and also record things. Don't come for me in the comments. We have reached a point in this gun argument in this country where logic cannot permeate anymore. Why do you think that Chicago has become America's largest outdoor shooting range? Do you think it's because of Chicago citizens uh, who have no criminal record? but who have a, a awfully a gun in their home for protection or perhaps for hunting? Or do you think it's because of a finite group of criminals who have rap sheets as long as King Kong's arm? You know, Senator Kennedy, those hardened criminals with rap sheets as long as King Kong's arm would also have a harder time gaining access to guns if we had stricter gun laws in place. As a matter of fact, one of the suggestions is criminal background checks, so it would make it specifically harder for those criminals to get their hands on guns. Seems to be what you want, but not really. I think there's easy access to firearms compared with, combined with environmental conditions, uh, lack of great education. There have actually been studies showing that when you green vacant lots and repair abandoned buildings in urban neighborhoods, you see decreases in gunshots, in violence, as well as in stress and depression in the neighborhoods around them. That, no disrespect, Doc, but that sounds a lot like word salad to me. Imagine making a very clear, concise, excellent point backed up by research only to have someone call it word salad because they don't like what you just said and it ruins their argument. His problem is Chicago has too much gun violence. She cites a study stating what lowers gun violence as well as depression and anxiety. And he goes, that sounds like word salad to me because my point is the only one that matters because I am funded by the NRA. You don't think gangs should be uh, prosecuted for having gu illegal guns? I'm neither a lawyer nor a prosecutor, and I don't. that's not my area of research. But yet you want to take guns away? I've never said from, that I want to take from guns from away. From law-abiding citizens. Mm. I, I think that you are saying something that I've not said in my written or oral testimony, sir. Okay. You, you equated gun deaths to heart disease in your opening statement. Yes, sir. Which is a greater public health problem? Gun deaths or heart disease? So heart disease does kill more folks across the United States, largely in the about end of their life. About 700,000? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gun deaths, about 50,000? Correct. Do you, do you support outlawing fried foods? I, I'm sorry. How does that relate to... Because fried foods contribute to heart disease, don't they? Again, I have not written or said that I Aren't support you a outlawing. You're a physician, right? I am. Have I said that I support outlawing anything in my testimony today? It's totally unrelated. Guns are a weapon manufactured to kill. I cannot kill you with a piece of fried chicken. I mean, I, I probably could, but not with heart disease. I can't, I can't give you heart disease with a piece of fried chicken or with a burger from McDonald's. A deep fried Oreo is not a weapon. 
It's a delight. What do you say to people who think that there are too many mass shootings in the United States of America? It's the idiots that pull the trigger. Yeah. It's not the people that own the guns. Right. What if, what if the idiots that pull the trigger own the guns? Hey, are you an idiot? But should we make sure that the people who are, are idiots? to make sure of that. I guess you gotta have stricter gun laws? Test to drive a car? Do you, think, do you, think you don't have to have an IQ test to have a gun, do you? Well, you have to. You actually have to take a test to drive a car. You need to like learn how to drive it safely to be able really? to drive it. Did your yeah. mama teach you how to drive a car? She did, actually. Yeah. Actually, she did. Yeah. And how good a driver are you? I'm a great driver. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Well, I don't think so. Why? <laughs> what, what are you talking about? What's up, everybody? Major retired Battle Jet here, and Jason Selvig is a comedian as well as a writer and performer. He is probably best known for his work as one half of the political comedy duo, The Good Liars. They have seamlessly infiltrated conservative rallies and campaign events to interact with, interview, and troll candidates and those in attendance with political satire and quick wit. Are you any good at shooting a gun? What does what what one thing have to do with the other? I'm confused. Because you took a test and you think you're smart enough because you took a test. Did you, did you pass a driver's test to, to drive? No. I'd learn to drive out in the f***ing woods. So you had to get a driver's license. <laughs> you had to get a driver's license, right? For what? To drive a car. Why do you need a driver's license to drive a car? Do you know how to drive a car? You have to have one to drive a car, though. That's it's the law. That's a suggestion. It's not a suggestion. You have to have a driver's you license to, to drive a car. Driver's license to vote? You have to have a driver's no, license no, to you drive have a to car. Have a driver's license to vote? I, what does that question have to do with what we're talking about? Because you you say I got to have a driver's license for something that if I don't need one to vote, I don't need one to drive. It's a, called a driver's license. Selvig spoke with one lunatic that must have learned his debate skills from Abbott and Costello's Who's On First comedic skit. The Jacqueline presented circular arguments to everything that required a direct answer. The man then went off on an irrelevant rant about not needing a driver's license to vote or drive a car. He sounded like the drunk uncle at the family reunion that thinks he's being funny, but no one else is laughing. The Jacqueline's behavior was best described as a crazy version of whack-a-mole. You just didn't know where the little varmint was going to pop up next.